Hello, 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 it's Brandy Janae here. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel today. I'd like to welcome you if you are new and welcome you back if you're returning. In today's video, I'm going to be setting up the monthly calendar for September. So if you're interested in seeing that, please be sure to stay tuned. great again thank you so so much for tuning in with me today let's just take a moment let's just let's just take a second to admire this beauty i know the ring light is annoying and it gives that little glare but yeah it's so gorgeous i absolutely love this cover thought about switching it i'm not ready yet so yeah sometime maybe mid-fall i will go ahead or mid-october i'll go ahead and switch over to the other one but i just love this one so much so, oh, and then this is the clip that came from the fall surprise box. And this is one of the pins that came from the box. I'm not a huge fan of the pin, but I like the way it looks. So that's kind of why I have it clipped on here. But anyway, let's get to October. So I'm actually gonna have to take that off because it won't let my book lie flat. One moment, please. All right, so like I said, I'm going to be doing October monthly. Um, if you watched my last video, then you know I'm really just using this for social media. Like I'm not actually using this as a monthly just because for me, I just don't need it. Like I really don't reference it that often. So I just, I just don't need it. So at least for like my YouTube videos, especially, it'll kind of give me a guide of you know what I would like for my schedule to be and to make sure what I'm editing that I put things on the right date because I have a difficult time with that sometimes especially when I batch film like I plan on doing today it it gets caught up in oh what day was that what day was that so anyway this kind of helps me keep track I also put some Instagram like post ideas on the September one. Sometimes I use it, sometimes I don't. But at least again, if I have like absolutely nothing to post for Instagram for that particular day, I have a reference point to kind of look at to, to get some ideas. So I'm going to be using this kit that I received from Fern Creek Stickers. It is ECA5 October 87A. I'm assuming is the name of the kit. And this is for the coil. I'm pretty sure, well, I know I did not order this because I'm not really a huge like Halloween person. So I think this came in when I ordered some like uh, mystery kits or I might've ordered some grab bags or something. I don't remember from Fern Creek. So I'm pretty sure this is one of the ones that came in there, but it's cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and use it. Like I said, I'm not really like a Halloween person. Um, I am, however, going back to teaching. I know, crazy. Um, so this kit does actually kind of work with, you know, my lifestyle coming, moving forward, starting in October. I am going back to teaching pre-K. If you don't know, because you missed a previous video, I did actually leave from teaching pre-K in March. I decided that I needed to just get away from it, get a change. Well, at least I thought. And I went to work for the federal government actually as a trainer for their teachers at their educational facility. And although I love the job, my calling is being actually in the classroom. I know that. I try to run from it all the time. I'm done running. Because <laughs> every time I try to run, I just get pulled back in. And so, yeah, I'm going to just, I'm just going to do it. I'm going to stop running and do what I'm being called to do. And, you know, just do the best that I can with the students that God has trusted me with. So I will be starting a new school and a new district in the in on literally October 3rd. Um, it's still September when I'm planning this. So, yeah, so this will be fun because, again, even though I don't celebrate Halloween because I now have an adult child and my bonus son is still in Ghana. So we don't have to do that here. But I will obviously be celebrating it with my students. So it works. Everything 
comes together. I said all that to say, everything comes together in the end. So anyway, it's this super cute kit. I love the ghost. I don't know if you can see that some of them have the little like cheek spots, but it's precious. And then we have this page here, which is uh, 87C. And I went ahead and kind of wrote like what videos that I want. I just realized I wrote that upside down. Oh, well. But I went ahead and wrote like which kind of videos I'm planning on doing so I can put those on. This is 87B. And then we have the 87, like the habit tracker for the notes page. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the base down and then I will be back. So I think this is it for the base. These stickers are super cute. I thought about putting this here like, but then I was like, eh, because I won't have the box for this one. So yeah, I'm not gonna worry about it. I think this is enough. Um, so I know that my first video hold on let me go look at september i try to make it so they're they're not all the same so my first well my last video rather is going to be the october so let's do a daily do my sticker lineup. I do do videos on Wednesdays and Saturdays, if you have not noticed that. <laughs> um, oh, and then I know my November monthly, I will do on the 29th. That worked out. All right. And then this one that I did upside down. That's so funny to me. Let's do a memory plan with me here. We'll do another daily here. Hmm. I'll have an unboxing on this day. We'll do a, oh, by this time I should be in the groove. So I would like to incorporate a teacher related plan with me. And we'll do a memory here, which I have really been enjoying memory planning like a lot, a lot. And then we will do a daily here. So I think that works. I love that these stickers are repositionable. <laughs> so if I decide to change something around, I can. I do have obviously tons of extra boxes so I can switch things up as well if I'd like to. And yeah, so I think that's gonna be it for this page. And then on this page here, I... Uh, I'm trying to remember how I set this up. All right, so I'm going to put, oh, I hate this. Maybe I'll put this strip up here. So I switched, um, again, if you missed that, I did switch planners because I used to use the ringed A5 rings, but then I decided that I really, I'm just, Honestly, I'm just a coil girl. Like, <laughs> uh, I just, I don't know why. I just prefer the coils. So I switched over to this coil planner and I was too impatient to wait. And so I ordered it from Amazon. 
But unfortunately, they don't have as many options, obviously, on on Amazon as they do if I would have just ordered directly from Erin Condren. So I got this planner, and it's like whatever that floral stuff is. And I'm going to be honest, like, I really just don't like it. Like, I don't like... I just don't like that there's flowers everywhere <laughs> um, on all of the, you know, main pages. So, yeah, I could take the time to obviously white this out. But I'm just going to try to cover it up as best as I can. So you get some floral. Oops. But not a ton of floral. I, I, I don't know. Whatever. All right. And then I also got this from Print Pression. And I, I don't really like it. Like, I think my slice tool, maybe it needs a new blade or something. Maybe I'll try that. I think the slice tool works better, but I don't know where my slice tool is right now. So here we are. Anywho, now that I'm done ranting and raving, I am going to pop this header here it looks awkward i think but it's better than the floral to me so we're just gonna try to let it be great <laughs> um my last one i don't know why i'm hiding this like it's a secret my last is because it's just messy the last kit i used was from black mountain stickers and so it the box went all the way up which was nice because it kept it uniform. This one's just, it's just different. So, um, yeah, so we'll put that one there. And I'm going to use No, I'm not because it's short. Interesting. Does it fit here? No, I don't know why that box is short. Okay, so I'm not going to use those because that's going to drive me crazy. But I can at least put a little washi up there so the box isn't just plain. All right, so we'll put that one up there. This one here and then these boxes I like to just kind of notate which kits I'm using for I did it wrong last time because I put monthly kits which is weird because obviously there's only one monthly kit so it should have said daily kits um, but I just kind of wrote that in later on just so I knew but it is kind of cool to keep track of who I'm shopping from so that when I'm doing my plan with me's later on, I can say, you know, where I got the stickers from instead of just sitting there going, uh, I think that came from, <laughs> I can actually, you know, tell you what shop it came from. So we're going to use these because I like them. So this will be for my weekly kits. And then I'll use this section, section for my daily kits. And then I know last time I went ahead and put boxes down here, but because I really like this, I'm gonna go ahead and just pop this in. Because I can still write the same thing on it. It's not a big deal. All right. So, and then here I just track my social media stats. So my, um, what did I do? Instagram, TikTok, and then 
YouTube last time. Just how many like followers or subscribers or whatever the word is for that particular thing. So I'm gonna put one of these and I'll put YouTube. TikTok and Instagram. And then any notes or anything like that, I can write in each respective column. But then, like I said, I can also keep track of like how many subscribers or followers or whatever it is that's relevant to that particular social media platform. I don't know why I keep trying to use those. They do not pick up. Oh, man. I had ink smeared on it. Boo! I don't know where that ink came from. Oh well. All right. Okay, so I think that is it for this I really wanted to oh I took this off by the way because I don't like that it doesn't fit <laughs> um in case you're wondering like why she ripped that back off I don't like that it doesn't fit on the that side it's, it's just a little too narrow for my particular taste so that's why I ended up taking that part off and then last time I made a page over here to put like notes on and I obviously did not write anything so I'm not going to do that again because I feel like that's just a waste of time and stickers so I'm going to just let this be what it is again here is the monthly spread which I'm very pleased with and then I just have like my trackers oh and in this box I forgot to mention that in this box I write down which video I like the name of the video and then the steps. So whether I filmed it, edited it, uploaded it, blah, blah, blah. I kind of check off when I'm done just so I can make sure that I am, you know, completing all of the steps. Because again, yeah, sometimes I do too much and then I get confused on which ones are done and which ones aren't done. So this just kind of helps me keep uh, a running track of the videos and making sure I do what needs to be done for those. So anyway, I know this video was all over the place, but I appreciate you for sticking with me if you're still here. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and also hit the subscribe button if you have not already done so. And yeah, I think that's it. Happy October, happy end of September, wherever you are when you watch this video. I hope you are well and healthy and safe and yeah thank you so much for watching have a good day friends goodbye